Next for us here on the town hall this evening, workers rights groups continue to celebrate what they call a historic decision to pay farm workers overtime. It'll be rolled out over the next 10 years. Many farmers say they can't afford to pay that and that the harvest season in New York State is too short to cap work at 40 hours a week. Well, farmers and Republican lawmakers have been very outspoken against this plan. And two on your side's Rob Hackford tells us now that some state Democrats are also echoing the concerns. During a virtual press conference Tuesday, six Democrats from the state assembly came together to criticize the state labor commissioner's decision to lower the overtime threshold for farm workers. This is no time to make a change. It will be phased in over the next 10 years, which compared to other states like California and Washington, which have implemented similar rules, is pretty gradual. But as we've heard from farmers who are concerned about what the change could mean for wage costs during New York's relatively short, all hands on deck growing season, Plus inflation, the fear is that small operators could be put out of business. Our farms are not large factory farms like you fly over on the, in the middle part of the country. Our farms are family owned and family run operations. We see it not only as a basic right of equality, valuing and respecting the work that these workers are doing, but also a real issue of worker health and safety. Jessica Maxwell runs the Workers Center of Central New York, a group that's been advocating for this change well before 2019. That's when lawmakers like Pat Fahey voted in favor of creating a farm laborers wage board, which ultimately recommended this decision. Well, I recognize that this was uh, a negotiated agreement. This has been in the works for a number of years, and we voted on this in 2019. None of us could have anticipated the events that have occurred. That's why this group of lawmakers say they're asking Governor Hochul to now suspend the decision and allow the legislature to revisit the legislation that led to this decision in the first place and potentially create carve outs for family farms. But in the meantime, workers rights groups continue to celebrate the recognizing of the 40 hour standard in yet another industry. And it's historic that we're finally taking this step and moving forward into fully integrating um, this whole category of workers. And Rob joins me now. So Rob, there are other states that have already done this, right? It's already in practice. Um, is New York late to the game or is there this thought that maybe this could help attract workers here? Yeah, that is the thought in some cases, Michael, but there's differing opinions on this. New York's minimum wage of 1320, soon to be 1420, is already almost double states like Ohio and Pennsylvania, where it's still 725 an hour. So groups like the Workers Center of Central New York say workers already have a pretty big incentive to come here. Farmers have said this decision could force them to cap hours at 40, which isn't too attractive, to avoid those overtime costs, which may deter some migrant and visa workers who come up north actually for a couple months and try to work as much as possible to sustain their families back in Mexico, Guatemala, and so on. The other thing about this, and you'll hear proponents of this change saying that there is money built into the state budget, right? The governor announcing that that farm owners can get financial assistance to be able to cover this additional cost. But what's that going to actually look like? Yeah, they're trying to help with some tax credits. There's a couple that farmers could look at. There's going to be a new refundable tax credit to help pay for some of those overtime costs. Another credit to encourage investment in newer technology has actually been extended. We haven't heard from the governor's office, though, on this topic since it was announced and the decision was announced on Friday. But we'll keep asking her about whether this uh, potential suspension could be a, a, a reality or something that uh, farmers will have to, uh, you know, it'll just continue to be a pipe dream, really. Yeah. All right. Still to come a lot on this yeah. issue, Rob. Thank, Thank you very much. Very much.